Today's Tanya, the Tanya for the 21st day of Eir, it is at the beginning of Tadek Nun, of chapter 50. It's on Daf Ayin Omed Aleph, and the English number at the bottom of the page is 262. Until now, the Rebbe, Al-Tarebbe has spoken of many kinds of love and many kinds of contemplation that reveal those loves. But what they all had in common was that the loves discussed before were the kind of loves that want to bring a fulfillment to the person. He wants to be closer to God, and he wants to bring God into his life, into his soul, into his heart. In Pedic Nun, in chapter 50, the al introduces a higher level of love. All the various levels of love and types of love that were discussed earlier, they come from the right side, and they are of the category of the Kayin, who is a man of kindness. Kindness is basically the right side, the right hand is kindness, and the love and the types of love that were discussed earlier are the kinds of love that come from Chesed, which is the right side, which is associated with the Kayin whereas the Levi is associated with severity with the left side. The Nikra and these types of love are called Kesef HaKadoshim Meloshim Nichsev Nichsafta Lebeis Avicha. It is called Holy Silver because the word for silver, Kesef, also means longing. It is a holy longing. But there's another kind of love that transcends them all, and that is Kemailas Hazov Al Hakesev, as gold is more precious than silver, is greater than silver. Vihi, what is this love that is greater than the love of silver, of the longing kind of love? It is the Ahava Kizish Peish, it is a stormy, a stormy, flaming love that comes not from the side of chesed but from the side of gvura of divine gvura of severity and it and it comes not from chachma which is the origin for chesed but rather it comes from bina ilo it comes from the attribute of bina in the mind that produces gvura in the heart the hainu which means specifically, Shal Yidei, his born in his Begdullah, saying, Sev Baruch Hu Dekula Kamei Kilom Choshiv, that when a person contemplates the fact that God is so much greater than the world, that the world is non-existent in his presence, then, Tislahed V'Tislahev HaNefesh, then the heart will be flamed and aroused. We accord to say this Gdullah, say, with a desire for God's glory, because he senses that God is distant and he wants to reach out and bridge that distance like a flaming fire that rises and, and, and reaches upwards where the flame wants to separate from the wick or from the wood which holds it down and it wants to rise and be absorbed in its in its source above. And the same was true also with the Neshama, that this kind of a love, which is a flaming love, is a desire to tear itself away from its physical condition and from its in the individual identity and be absorbed in godliness, not as a fulfillment of itself, but as a loss of self. It brings out the element of fire, the element of gvura, which is in the godly soul. And that's what causes the thirsting. Because you would think that a godly soul, which is a part of God, would not experience a thirst for God. A thirst comes from being distant. But here he says that even in the godly soul, there is an element of fire which produces a thirsting kind of love. David HaMelech says, my soul thirsts for you. And David HaMelech was a godly soul. He had no Yetzirah. And after this experience of the longing and the thirsting of the, of the love, he comes to love sickness 
and that leads to an even higher level where he literally wants to expire and the soul wants to leave the body. As it says, my soul expires to you. It is from this level in the spiritual above that in the physical there is there exists the condition or the level of the Levi. And after Mashiach comes when the world will be elevated to a higher level, then the Levi will become the Kayan as the Arizal writes on the verse. The Kayanim the Leviim, Shahalavim Shal Akshav Yukainim Laosit. That's why it doesn't say the Kayanim and the Leviim, because in the in the future the Leviim of today will be the Kayanim of tomorrow. Vaveidas Halavim Haisalahim Kalazina Bit Vesaida Vishida Vizimra Biniganuni Ima and the Aveda, the service of the Levi was to sing and and and, and call out to God with a sweetness and a and a pleasant sound the which basically is the expression of the two movements of the desire to cleave to God and then the feeling of return of the recognition that one's place is here on earth which is this love that we described before a love that is connected with gvura and not so much with kindness, like the like the intensity of love that comes from from lightning. Kedisa begemarav perik beis the chagiga. The ef shalavayering in the heat of the michtov, and it's impossible to express this properly in writing. That kol ish nilva venovin hamaskil al davar, but every person who is whose heart is alive, and he understands. And he contemplates deeply and attaches his mind to the understanding of God. He will find this light and this goodness that is hidden in his in his soul. Hamaskelas, which understands this godliness, called Each person according to his level and capacity. The yesh mispoil, the yesh mispoil, and there are many expressions to this reaction to the inspiration that comes from the thought, it's not the same in all people. It varies from person to person. By first having the yiraschet, which is the avoidance, complete avoidance of evil, of sin, so that it shouldn't be the, it shouldn't be the, the interference of the sin, because the sin separates and doesn't permit the person to experience this longing and this that comes from the element of gvura, the element of severity in the soul that creates a stormy love for God which creates a longing to leave the physical condition not to improve it and not to, not to satisfy the soul but for the soul to lose itself in godliness and then he recognizes that the truth of God's intention is that he stay in the world and so he experiences Azotzi and the Shuv the, the, the advance and the retreat the longing to leave and the return and the settling back into this world because that is God's intention and that is God's Kavana in today's Hayem Yem for the 21st of Eir the 36th day of the Eimer the Rebbe writes that every person has to know that God, through Hashgach HaPratis, gives every person the ability to bring God's will, that which God wants from the world, from the potential to the actual. And how is this done? Through fulfilling the mitzvahs and strengthening Yiddishkeit and Teza at all times and in all places. And it all depends only on one's Avedah.